lift up your hands, lift your hands. That's a powerful song. Lift your hands to the Lord. And this is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell. Holy Spirit, oh, Lord, this place. This place. Decorate our homes with grace and mercy. Jesus. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Somebody tell somebody the Lord is good. The Lord has a miracle for you tonight. Tonight is a night like no other night. Oh, somebody rejoice. Sanyuka. Tonight is like no other night. God has a miracle for you. With your name on it. Somebody need to jump and praise and glorify God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were just arriving, so whatever you ask, please yourself to get a seat. Whatever you can get. And as many as they come, make sure they can get a place where they can see. The Lord is awesome. I feel in my spirit the heavens are lower than they have ever been before. They are ready to kiss you and touch you and bless you. Let me tell you a secret of life. A secret of tonight. If you clap your hands and shout and praise God, that is the key to get your miracle home. Somebody get up and praise and welcome the Holy Spirit. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And those of you in the morning in the US, it's morning. In Asia, it's about early in the morning. But in, in the afternoon, it's in the US and other places. But we, we praise God. Hawaii is just like uh, early afternoon. And uh, in the US, probably it's going into the late afternoon. But God is good. People watching in 140 nations. Could you imagine? After tonight, as we, come, we start the day of Saturday, we'll be left with countdown of 18 days. In fact, just 17 days. From the 1st of September to the 18th of September, we'll be left with 17 days to celebrate two years of 77 days of glory. An opportunity to shout and appear on TV. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you clap well and you smile well, your Chinese husband is watching. Your Russian wife is waiting for you. 
So it's to your advantage as you praise God. Also to be expecting that somebody is watching you. I'm amazed how many people, the pastor from Masindi told me, that people in all that area bought dishes from TSTV, Star Times, Zuku, Azam. They are all watching. And Go TV. They are all watching Channel 44. I was talking to a friend this week. And he said, last night we spent a whole night watching. Even when the, we, you had left, the worship there, really we grew us on TV. There is a big audience. Millions of people watching around the world. Over 130 million people have been watching and following us. On Instagram, YouTube, YouTube uh, free to air. These platforms I've mentioned, TSTV, TSTV. Actually, it goes all the way to Ethiopia, all the way to Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, South Africa. South Africa. People are watching. Channel 44 is amazing. People are watching in the villages. People are watching in the villages. So to God be the glory. Why don't you clap your hands to the Holy Spirit? You know, this is the only channel that is on DSTV, Christian channel. That is on DSTV. We thank God for the management of DSTV. Because we reach many areas where we will not have reached. The only TV, Christian TV station. Which is doing so. And we are excited about it. And we are grateful to it. So buy your dish. We actually got another deal from DSTV. We will tell you on Sunday how much, which is cheaper than the only when you go out to buy it. So share the good news. This is the time to reach Uganda. As many messages are going out of here in this country to the rest of the world. I believe. I believe all eyes on Uganda because of the Holy Spirit. Somebody clap your hands. You can't clap like that for God. Somebody came in need of a miracle. You just continue clapping. So as usual, the Bible tells us before we ask God anything, let's Let's go and make a thanksgiving. Let's give God thanksgiving. So therefore, in the name of Jesus, I want you to prepare your thanksgiving offering to the Lord. And the Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will add to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen and to God be the glory. In Jesus name. Thank him for what he's doing. Thank him for the rain. Thank him for food. Thank him you are still alive. Thank God for your next move. Somebody tonight. You are walking out of here with a big miracle. And so I'm so excited about what God is going to do tonight. In Jesus' name. We thank God for our lives, for our nation, for this country, for everything that is happening. Everything has a purpose. God has a hand in everything. Even when you don't understand it. But God knows what he will come out with. In Jesus' mighty name. So go ahead and thank God. Later on we shall raise an offering. We help us publish the book of the Holy Spirit. Those of you at home, you can also use the mobile money to send your seed. The number is on the screen. So you can follow us and you can do so. Even you who is here, the mobile number is here. You can use. You know, the enemy wants to push you away. You know, when they introduce taxes on the mobile money and you feel like, ah, I can't give, I'm going to lose more money. Let me tell you the 
there was a drought and Isaac planted in the famine and the Bible says he had a thousandfold don't let anything stand between you and giving to God you may fail to pay your bills but never fail to give God's tithe because he blesses more than man can give you in Jesus name we have, ta we have guests and we love guests Julius Turinawe Julius and family from Istanbul, Turkey come here you have 10 seconds to say hello and God is doing a great work he said I was once prayed for after a spine surgery now I'm back on my feet the Holy Spirit filled the Holy Spirit filled this place in the name of Jesus somebody clap your hands to Jesus God is a good God and Sophie Sue's Walthoff from Germany you also come and say hello to the people in Jesus mighty name we serve a mighty God hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Tell the pastor next to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning, Saturday, is a voice in a million. So we are going to have a whole day here fasting and praying. And I believe God is going to do a tremendous work in our lives. And your life will never be the same again. In the evening we shall have dinner. But we are fasting and we are believing God for great and many things. So for those of you, please, come and fast and pray. Uganda needs your prayer. If there have never been a time like this, you need to pray. You really need to seek God. I'll tell you why in a, in a short while, but we need to pray more than ever before. Pray for your family, pray for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Please go ahead. Praise God. Praise God, church. My name is Julius Turinawe. Julius Turinawe. I came here early this year in March. I had had a surgery in Turkey for the spine. But it had refused to heal. I came here and I said I want to be here today. They prayed for me. I came with my family, my children. You are here, you also prayed for them. From that time, I stood. I started walking. I was paralyzed at a certain point. I could not even leave bed. I spent a without working. I was down. But when I came here and you prayed for me and my family, from then I have never stayed in bed. I am up as you can see. That time I was in a closet. My posture, I would walk sideways. But now I am as straight as you can see me. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The God that is in this prayer is amazing. Amazing. amazing and amazing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to remind you to clap your hands. I'm tired. How many of you have ever had a back surgery? You have ever had a spine surgery? In fact, Pastor, it was three times. Surgery, three times. In fact, Pastor, it was three times. Surgery, three times. In fact, Pastor, it was three times. They operated him in Turkey. He was in bed for a year. He was in bed for a year. He was in bed for a year. Until he flew back here. At the beginning of this year. I know people may look for his script, for his pictures. He was in bed for a year. And find out when he came here. Paralyzed. God healed him that day. Now he stands before us since then. And you decide to stay seated on your plastic chair. That is how people meet their miracles. Stand up and clap your hands to God. Our God is a miracle God. He is a miracle God. 
You know, I've been asking the Lord. How long, how many services do I have to be attend in order for me to be transformed? And the Lord told me, only one. But then I realized, why do people attend several services, go to different churches, and nothing happens? It is their attitude towards God. It is their attitude towards God. God cannot be the one who has brought from a brother. They bring him back and he gets healed. And he testifies to you. And you decide to stay silent. Then you tell him, God, please help me. If you have understood it, you have your miracle. Let me ask the children, how are you? What is your name? Asimwe Alvin. Asimwe Alvin. Are you happy to see Daddy walking? Oh, yes. How was he before he started walking? He was walking fine. He could not walk. He could not walk. Now you are happy? Yes, I'm happy he can we walk. Eh, ndi What about the youngest? Ate omugalanda. My name is Siava Nimuji Tunawe Keisha. Geganga go Keisha tulinawe. Are you happy for daddy to walk? Oli musanyufu tata atambula. Eh, musanyufu. He just came back from Turkey. Yakakoma yes. okuve buturu. Did he bring eh. you something? I nachi yakuleted de yo. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Where I will not ask you anything. He gave you. What about you? My name is Kengo Masaidat. Zekoga Masaidat. Are you happy? Yes. Uh, what can you tell people? If they want to get their miracle. What should they do? They, they praise God. Thank you. Thank you so much. God richly bless you. Thank you for sharing your, your, your testimony with us. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Praise the living God. My name is Shute Kalthoff. I come from Germany. I come from Germany. I have been watching this program. On YouTube. On YouTube. It's amazing. Yeah, when you saw. Wow. I can't believe I'm here. Praise the living God. I don't have more to say. It's only the most happy. Thank you. Amen. We are glad you came. Thank you for coming. We pray that God will bless you while you are here. In Jesus' name. All the way from Germany, please give your hand and clap to her. In Jesus' name. Amen. God is good. Somebody shout out there. People coming from all over the world to be part of what you easily take it for granted. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, you can do better than that. Oh, you can do better than that. The whole of this week and the whole of this week 77 days of glory the 10th phase we are now in the third week we are dealing with the love of God 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The key is God gave us something we don't know. Tell the person next to you. You don't know. No, ask the person next to you. And tell the person next to you. You don't know. No, no, no. Before you people come here. Stay there. Stay there. The Bible says that God gave us his only begotten son. Even when you don't go deeper. He gave us. Yatua, his only. Oh, he gave us. Yatua, his only. Yeka. Now some of you don't understand what I'm saying. Because you don't know what wa, God gave us. Wa Religion has damaged you so much that you think it was easy for God to give you his only begotten son. If you have one child or you have one car you have one house you have one passport you have one thing, one, one and someone said give it to me. Many of you will cast those people. Many of you will call them names. But he who loved you gave you his only. Pastor Timothy, yes, that's the problem. The Holy Spirit will say, You tell them that. You will see their reaction. And that attitude comes from this point. Have you, how many of you have got relatives that they come to you for help? You've got relatives or friends who always come to you so that you can help them put up your hand. They come to you and they will ask you for money, ask you for help in any way or form. How many put up your hand? How many of you know there are times you don't have any more money? But they have come and you have to go and borrow money from somebody to give to them. And the person who gives you says, I don't even have. So instead of giving you a hundred thousand, he gives you twenty. And you take that twenty as you have borrowed it, you give it to a relative, and the relative is not happy. And he thinks you have you don't want to give him money. Come on, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Oh, how many of you go to other people for support? To help you. You, 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 you the one I'm talking to. You are the one who is asking. And you go to somebody whom you know. You see the house, you see the compound, you see the car, you see the food, you see, food, you see other children are happy going to school and you ask him for money just 50,000 and he said I don't have any money but let me see whether I can borrow and he gives you 10,000 and you feel offended you feel bad out of all he has why doesn't he give me the money I need you're not going to put up your hand. You do it daily, always. How can so and so give me only 10,000? With all the money he has. 
Because God is in heaven. He didn't have two sons. Or nine sons. He had only one son. And they were so close together. They created the whole earth and the heaven together. He is the word which was with God. And the word became God. And they were inseparable. He is Jesus and the word and the Holy Spirit. They were together. He had to separate the union to give you his only son who is the reason why heaven is there the one who is the reason why the earth is here the reason why man was created he had to give him to you oh I'm sorry you don't understand what I'm saying I don't know you don't understand what God did to what he gave you you think he chose one of the twelve and he gave you no he gave you his only begotten the only one he had now hear your clap you are like those people who come to the rich to get money and then you already figure out what he should give you because we don't understand what God gave us we will never understand what to ask if you did not spare his only begotten son why would he spare money from you because you don't understand what he gave you you are actually asking things that you shouldn't be asking for Hello. Because he gave you, you don't know what he gave you. Because we don't understand what he gave us. We are asking the wrong stuff. Jesus has been given to us. A son is given. And the government is upon his shoulder. And you are still looking to the physical government to give us money. When the government of God has been given to you. No, you are not getting it. As if you understand, my friend. Man is going to come to in the next 12 hours. Lift up your hand. Say, Lord, open my eyes that I may know what you gave me. The Bible clearly tells us that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word became God. Okay? Mm. The word became God. Now, without the word, nothing was made. Hello? Now, when you look in Genesis chapter 2, that's where you begin to realize that the reason we don't have what we, ha we need or what we are supposed to have, the problem is the process is our attitude but I believe tonight here in 77 days of in the remaining 18 days to the celebration of two years in these 18 days there are 18 miracles a miracle for each one of your days let me show you the revelation of the keys of how to get your miracle Genesis chapter 2 Genesis chapter 2 Genesis chapter 2 he said this is the account of heaven and the earth when they were created oh this is the, ge the genealogy of the heaven and earth so in other words this earth we are dealing with already has a record it has the bloodline it has the genealogy everything God does is alive that's why you did not know when he opened eyes of the blind and he opened the eyes of the blind among the Jews and you are part of the family of the Jews which means if there have ever been a blind person in your family who overcame blindness 
because Jesus touched them. You are not hearing what I'm saying. Every miracle that God does is alive. It has life. Every word he speaks is a living word. Is a living word. Is a living word. So when he says, say when you are poor that I'm rich, that word is alive. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. So when you speak it, it becomes alive. It is dead because you are not speaking it. When you speak it, the word is activated. Oh, you are not hearing what I'm saying. When you speak the word, it becomes alive. You think it is just ink in the Bible. No. This word is alive. That's why you can't preach it when you are dead. The Bible said faith which means the word walks faith cometh by hearing the word of God so faith is mobile when you hear the word faith comes even if you don't have faith tonight after you hear me you will have the faith for your miracle that's why I kick the people away from here because they don't like rituals and religions the moment you preach they come here but when they hear they just look at you like this they are as dead as dead can be so stay away from me I will only look at those who have the faith those who are ready to hear the word. Those who are ready to receive their miracle. So stay away. The word is alive. When you speak it, it is activated. God says 77 days of glory. Here we are two years, we are still going. Who told you that the word of God is dead? If they walked in Bible days, the cripple will walk here tonight. If the deaf heard in the Bible days, they will hear tonight. Hallelujah. The word of God is alive. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So the Bible tells you in chapter 2. Genesis. These are the generations. The word generation comes from the word gino. It's a gene ratio. Generation means the gene ratio. Yeah, the children ratio, the blood ratio in you. You who are raising cows, you can get a local nganda cow. And you crossbreed it with a heifer. And they produce a crossbreed. Which is 50 50. 50 50 is the gene ratio of a heifer and of a nganda cow. Now, watch this child of God. If that crossbreed, you breed this with another heifer, the calf that is produced is no longer at 50%. It is now at 75%. That's what we call the gene ratio. Generation is not just gunomurembe. Not just a generation. Ogwa pastor kayanja. Pastor kayanja. a new generation no, coming. No, you cannot. You cannot call yourself a new generation because there's no new generation. Actually. You are hooked up in the first generation. You must have a gene ratio. Uh, you are not hearing what I'm saying. When we look at G 
Jesus touched. The blood that Jesus shed. It was a hundred percent. So the first believers. The first apostles. Contained a hundred percent. Of the blood of Jesus. As we went through ages. Religion began to come in. So the blood of the real blood of Jesus in Christian religion today is actually less than 5%. percent in many churches there is no salvation there is no baptism of the Holy Ghost there is no miracles the gin ratio has been adulterated there is no even if you get a bunch of group of religious pastors and you say pray for a headache by the time they finish the sick will have cancer the gene rest of Jesus in today's church has been reduced to 5% the rest is flesh psychology theology but here 77 tonight we are believing in a hundred percent blood of Jesus how can rent defeat us how can a hunger kill the Christians? When the one we have, he fed them in the wilderness for 40 years, and, and Jesus fed them a good meal one evening. How can your business fail? When Jesus stepped at Simon Peter's boat, and the business that was failing was revived, and he had a great catch. How can you be a Christian and you are defeated by? which doctors you're not hearing what I'm but saying but I came tonight in these 18 days we are bringing back the blood of Jesus we are bringing back Jesus I said we are bringing back Jesus Mr. Julius came from Turkey. One year paralyzed. Three times operated on the spine. Now he's walking. You can't come in seven to seven days of glory. And you go back as you are. Sometimes I even wonder that you've been in seven to seven and you're still religious. Fire. So in Genesis chapter 2, I want you to see something. These are the generation of the heaven and of the earth. Somebody say, I'm dealing with the heaven and the earth. Dealing with just the heaven. You fight for the heaven. You fight for the heaven. That your father left you. you. All of you get red eyes. No way. We are talking, dealing with the heaven and the earth. You are about to see us moving like heaven. May your days be as days of heaven on earth. I receive it. Jesus. May your days be like days of heaven and earth. We are not dealing with these simple issues. Your cancer is dying tonight. Your enemies are going to become naked. The Bible here tells us. Watch this. When they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. The Lord is Jesus. God is God. You can see the union. And every plant of the field before it was. It was in the earth. 
and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground so now listen to me carefully you Mr. Religious you Mr. Politician you Mr. Whatever you are also one time the heaven and the earth was void but especially the earth the Bible tells us it had nothing now at that time when it had nothing it's because God had not caused it to rain and there was no man to till the earth so where there is no rain where there is no man there is nothing more especially when there is no man the earth he has given to the sons of men the earth is ours you won't die without having land I said the word is alive I'm speaking a prophetic word to you You will not leave this earth Without sleeping in the house of your dreams the word is alive I said the word is alive The moment you speak it Speak it I won't die Before I get I will not die Before I build a house That will give God the glory Speak it It's becoming alive in your life The reason why the earth is void because there was no one of rain and no word of man. Turn to the person next to you. He said the reason why you don't have because you are not man enough. Okay, be quiet. I said, tell the person next to you. You said, now I know. The reason why you don't have a car, you don't have a house, you don't have joy, you are not man enough. Who is man? Man was made in the image of God. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit produced man. You are a product of the Trinity. If you want to be a real man, you must realize where you came from. You didn't come from your tribe. You did not come from your father. You did not come from religion. You did not come from Africa. You came from God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you have received it, take it. You are a product of God. That if God is for you, who can be against you? If you have got it, start rejoicing. Who is man? Man is not the one who wears trousers. Hello? I don't think Abraham was twice. But he was a man enough. People of God. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think Abraham had a degree. I don't think Abraham had a job. But he was the richest man in the whole world. Because he realized where he came from. Tonight, we are going to realize where we came from. What is our source? Who we are? Tell the person next to you. Don't you define me. I was created in the image of God. People are defining you because of the language you speak. Because of the face you look. Because of where you live. You don't know me. Let me try to tell you. Who am I? I am the image of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Ghost. Get out of my way. Poverty 
is getting out of your way. Sickness is getting out of your way. Diseases are getting out of your way. Diseases are getting out of your way. When Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister of England, Margaret Thatcher, she was more of a man than a woman. They called her Iron Lady. We had never seen a woman like that. Gorbachev, Ronald Reagan, they all stood in awe. As she began to run the international affairs of the world. Child of God, it doesn't matter. Whether you wear the bra or we wear pants. Once you know who you are in God, the world will move and shift on your behalf. And the time has come. The world to shift on your behalf. Money is coming to you. Nations are going to bow down. Situations are going to change. Because you know who you are. Tell the person next to you, say, don't put your religion on me. Don't even put your nationality on me. I am so global. I affect heaven and earth. My God, don't limit me with Uganda borders. Don't limit me with Uganda borders. Don't limit me in Africa. I am so global that I even affect the heaven and the earth. The Bible said the word says, whatever you bind or ask, Whatever you lose on earth, who told you that you're only going to have a little house in Kisenyi or in Kanabulemo or in Alua? No, you'll have them, but also Kenya is opening for you. German is opening for you. I don't know whom I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody. Speak that word. That word is about to be activated and it's about to give you faith, faith to move the mountains. Don't put your limitation on me. Don't take a The Bible said because there was no man. The reason why we have scarcity in the land. We don't have enough men. Who will stand in the gap. And I said what does God need? I will do that. I will do that. Is there any man here in the 77? Who is ready to change the world? You are ready to change your family. You are ready to change your tribe. You are ready to change everybody's world. God had not yet caused it to rain. <laughs> oh, come with me to Genesis chapter 2. God, who is in heaven, heaven had not yet responded. And the earth was not bringing forth man. But the Bible said, but there went up a mist. A mist from the earth. And the water, you see a mist can only come. A mist is vapor. Where there is liquid and heat. <laughs> you see the reason the reason why we know you are still alive you omit a temperature of 30 something degrees 38.5 degrees 98 point something Fahrenheit there is some heat that you release to realize you are alive so if the word of God is in you you are going to bring some temperature 
That's why I told you the church, the generation of the current church today does not even omit enough temperature to tell us that the church is alive. We are living in a world where you can't even tell whether the church is alive or not. Because our temperature is so low. Is so low. When you take a sample of the Christians in a marketplace, in government, in authority, in industry, real estate, the temperature is so low. I realize that they don't condemn you to death because you are really dead. They take a pulse. They take a pulse. And if the pulse is not there, even the machine now can tell that the pulse is gone. The pulse is what tells us your temperature. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. It's what tells us the temperature. Someone can be on oxygen. And he's breathing, you hear the machine. <sighs> And they say, he's dead. They come to me and said, his brain dead. There's no communication from the brain. The liver is still alive. The kidney is still alive. But he's dead. The buildings are still there. The cross is still on the cross. On the churches. We can even wear it here. But the church is dead. The Bible says. In fact, in most cases, before this technology came, when someone dies there, or to know that he's still alive, they tell you, take the other part of your skin, put it on the nose of someone who looks like dead. If you put it on him, and you hear, Vapor coming out. Hot air coming out. Though he looks dead, he's still alive. The Bible said there was no rain, there was no man. But a mist came from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And watch what happened. The following verse. Verse 7. The mist went out of the earth. And then the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. And man became a living being. Do you know what the earth says? The earth says, I can't get man out of me. I can't get a business out of me. But I still have some breath in me. And God is not sending the rain because he's waiting for man. And I know that is a man in me. So what he asked me, he said, God, let me give you what you want so that you can pull man out of you. There is greatness in you. There is a business in you. There is an anointing in you. There is a marriage in you. There is a family in you. But on your own, you can't put it out. Now what you do, give God what he needs so that he can come and pull out what you need. Give God what he needs. God needed the water. God needed the water in order to create the dust to pull man 
Many of you seated here watching by television. There is too much potential in you. There is too much power in you. There is too much life in you. But God needs something from you. I say God needs something from you. You have to release it. I say you have to release it. Because already there is a law of gravity. Whatever goes up. Will always come down. You are not hearing what I am saying. Whatever you give God. God will bring it back. Press down. Shaken together. Running over. Whatever you give God. He will bring it back to you. I say whatever you give God. It will come back to you. I told you people why did you come. If you don't understand what I am doing. Go back and see. You people behind there. Just these ones away. They don't even know why they came. Give God the praise. It will come back to you. Press down. Second to God. Running over. Give God the money. He will give it back to you. Give God the time. He will give it back to you. You are not hearing what I'm saying. Somebody who has got it. Start working now. Start moving now. Start praising now. Start giving now. Start worshiping now. The earth said, I am not going to wait for the heaven to move. Child of God, we are not going to wait for America to move. We will not wait for Africa to move. Africa we have realized in Uganda that there is a power of the Holy Ghost. That very power is what is said on the early church. We are going to publish him. We will not wait for the publishing machines to come. We will not wait until we get the radio. We will not wait until all the churches understand us. No. We are going to send our miss to the Lord. We are going to send our praise to the Lord. We are going to send our prayers to the Lord. Tell the person next to you. You are mistaken. I am not even looking at you. I am not even waiting for you. You see the earth said. I don't have to wait. For heaven to send rain. Some of you are waiting for your uncle. To give you capital. No, give God that 10,000 shillings. God will give you the money. Some of you are waiting for the government of the of Uganda. To finance your youth program. You take your God. Get your God. Give it to God. It will rain on you. Some of you are waiting for non government organizations. To give you a job. Show me a scripture that God blesses jobs. You tell me a scripture that God blesses a job. No. God blesses the work of your hands. What you need is not a job. You need work. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Because when God made man, He put him in the garden. And He told him, Work this. He didn't say, This is your job. Because at every job, they hire you, they interview you, and they have the right to fire you. But you can't fire me from my work. You can't fire me from my business. You can't fire me from my business. You 
business here. You can't lock me out of my house. Lift up your hands and I'm sending the mist. You know, a mist is very flimsy. Unless you have keen eyes, you can't even see it. Child of God. It's like dust particles. Child of God. It may be your thousand shillings. It may be your cow. It may be your gold. It may be your plot. It may be your house. You said, I'm giving to the Holy Ghost. I'm giving to the Holy Ghost. You had a woman here. You had a woman here. Who had a husband. And were married together. Her friend brought Majini. You had a testimony. And she got mad. She wanted to kill her husband. She wanted to kill her children. And the husband left her. For three years. Or four years. Eight. She didn't say eight. He left. But she came here. Mad. God restored her. God sent her back. God brought back the husband. They had been kicked out of the house. They were renting. Now they have a house. Now they have their own house. The lady is normal. Her marriage is restored. People of God. Your enemy is about to walk naked. Your enemy is about to be ashamed. But you have to release something. I say you have to release something. Not to me, not to anybody, to release it to the Lord. There is no bank where they will ever give you money without collateral. The question is this. And there is no job they will ever give you without asking you for experience. Look at the, look at the world system. You've just come out of university. Where did I get the experience? You want somebody who will take over this job with five year experience. Ah, eh, hey. Where did I get the experience? But God, because earth released the mist, and God made a man, then he brings into him the breath of life. When Adam was given a garden, he knew that is an elephant. With the Holy Ghost, you don't need experience. You're going to become the best entrepreneur. You're going to become the first billionaire. You build houses. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. When Adam was given a what to do? Adam, we are with chocolate. He began naming everything that God has made. Kutuma manya bi naka tonebi atonda. Don't you play games with God? Katonda tomo sani da komi sanyo. Whatever you release to Him, Kuli chomo wa is what He will create for you. Chajio kutonde ro kudisa. Now I'm coming to this because you're going to see something that is very, very unique that will open your understanding. He said, God created Adam. He created man. And he created them male and female. Uh, give me that scripture, please. I want to show you something. Pastor Eddie, this is where Wano. you can be with God for 20 years or 37 years like me and you cannot show off the product and the, 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 the results of the relationship. Hello, Jemuri. This is where one no. Have you put it there? Yeah. 
Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him male and female created he them. So when he created them male and female but how many of you know Eve did not come out on the same day time like Adam. Adam she remained in the river why? you want to tell me that out of Kabbalagala God is going to take another 20 years to give you a bakery bakery why didn't Eve and Adam come out at the same time? Why? Because what was released was only enough to get man out. Not the woman as well. The water wasn't enough. The water wasn't enough. You make paris. Those who make bread. If you have one cherry can of water, you cannot uh, mix uh, ten uh, sacks. Water determines how many kilos of flour you will use. Kilo meka ezenga nosonokosa. So whatever the earth released was only enough for Adam. God could not pull out Adam and Eve because the water was not enough. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. That's why we need more of the Holy Ghost until our children, until our dogs, until our saucepans, until your life, until your place of work is saturated with the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hand and say, I need more of your gold. Oh, the raw material is available. The ingredients are few. That's why he could not pull out. Adam and Eve at the same time. Yet he created them. He could not formulate them. Because the water wasn't enough. He said when man. Now cries out for help. I know what he needs. My God. God is not going to wait until you cry. The scripture said before you even pray he has already answered your prayer. The problem is you are not releasing enough mist. That's why tomorrow we are here fasting and praying. We are going to release enough mist. We will not wait for heaven to reign righteousness. We will raise a cry. We will raise the praise. We will raise the offering. Then God will come down like rain. I don't have to wait for heaven Guru. to move. I'm going to move. Elijah prayed. For the rain. Yes, First of all, he stopped it. Yes, okay, That's what I told you. Start using the word. The word is alive. The word is waiting for you to talk. Then it will begin to move. That's why every enemy of yours is going to move naked. Move naked. Child of God, I want to get this. The mist we release reveals what needs we have. The earth was tired. It needed man. So God gave it man. 
based on what she, it released as a list. People of God have come to understand. I'm talking to many of the pastors around the world. Many of them who are in great revival. The other day I was talking to Dr. Paul Enenche. Three in the morning. We were just talking. And he was telling me what God is doing. And what's happening in Abuja, Nigeria. They are building a 100,000 seater church. It's, it's numbered twice. They are dedicating it in November. And he said, I've been looking for you. I said, me too, I've been looking for you. What is going on there? And we spent 30 minutes just talking about what God is doing. People of God, I realize some, some of us who look at Nigeria, Nigeria they are music, Nyimba. they are pastors, and churches, and you are wondering why it's happening there. Because those Christians determined a long time ago when the Muslims were about to cut them off. And they said, We are going to do something crazy through the late Idahosa. They said, We are going to do something crazy. So they started believing God and giving things that they could not give naturally. And the church in Nigeria is an incredible church. The believers in Nigeria is an incredible believer. I was preaching for Dr. Ayo and I went there to preach and he told me a story a man brought a Rolls Royce I'm not saying this so that you can buy me cars I have one of the best cars in town so I'm not looking for cars but I'm just testifying and telling you in order for you to get out of what you're going to get don't look for a job look for God God will give you work don't look for a job. Look for God. He will give you work. Listen to this. A man had been fired. He was one of the executive of the oil company. And he was a believer. And he was a tither. And so they fired him. So he came. And he said, listen, this man has houses in London, in Nigeria, in America. He said, I want my job back, man of God. I see, he told me, he said, the man came here. He said, I'm not leaving here until God give me back my job. So he went, the money they had given him, like, like what do you call it? The money they give you when, they, when you are leaving. Yeah. What do they call it? Huh? Gratuity. My goodness. <laughs> you people. They do that to you when you are retired. So they said now go. Listen. 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 It was a million dollars. Or either two million dollars. Well, with Pastor Arthur, he told us the story. When we were preaching in his church. I think it was a million dollar or two. The man took the money. And brought it to church. And he gave it to Dr. Ayo. Ayo. And said, this is my seed. It's what they gave me when they fired me. He said, I don't want it. I want my job And he said, I am not going home. I'm going to stay in church. Until they give me my job. Back. No, you're not hearing what I'm Don't saying. This saying. is a top executive. He's driven in Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. The company has private jets. He said, I'm going to sleep in the floor of the church. So for a month, two months, three months, he was staying in the church. And the board sat. And they said, we can't run this thing. Bring that man back No, you are not hearing what I'm talking about. What mist are you releasing to the Father?
What means are you releasing to the fire? What means are you releasing to the fire? And when they gave him the job, he said, Before I take the job, he said, I'm going to thank God. He said, Papa, give me two weeks. I must thank my God. I've got my job back, and I've doubled my wages. He ordered a brand new Rolls Royce. The only person I saw sitting in that Rolls Royce was the Queen of England. And he brought the remaining of his money. And he came for Thanksgiving. When, when we went to the airport, I was able to sit in that, in that Rolls Royce. It's what picked me from the airport. It took me to the church. In the city. Benin city. So what I'm talking about, I saw it with my eyes. The Christian in East Africa will have to determine if you're on the side of God, Elijah said, be on the side of God. If you're on the side of Baal, be on the side of which But as for me and my house, I will serve Jehovah. Here are the 77 days of Corona. We have to release a mist that will cause the rain so much that every month in Uganda will get more. Everyone in Uganda will swim. Whether you like it or not. You should stop wasting your time. Go to WhatsApp to tell the world this is what God is doing at Seventh day. For the last three weeks, I've observed the news weekly. The world is dying. We're busy in gossip. Instead of sharing about the word of God. You speak the word of God. It doesn't matter who is holding the money. Even it's Bank of Uganda. They will vomit it for you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The word of God is alive. Somebody lift up your hand and shout. Speak the word. You get it, Chicago. Adam came first because the mist rain was too small. Whatever you give God is what He's going to use. The scripture said, if you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Two years in revival. Oh, we will lack parking for cars here. You know those cars, there's one that belongs to you. You will have your own business. Listen to this. The Holy Spirit revealed this to me. Last night when we were writing books. This is what he said to me. He said that those who have work. And their work is blessed by the Lord. They are the ones who create jobs. You know the world has a way. Of fooling you. This is what they said. Don't be a job seeker. Be a job creator. Okay. After you create the job, what is going to happen? 
job seekers are coming to get the job. They are creating a cycle where you never come out. Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he was being transferred from, from one team, team, because for him, he doesn't have a job. He works. He works. He uses what God has blessed. He uses his feet. And guess what happened? 194 million pounds, I believe, was paid to the other company to buy him. But do you know how many people have got jobs based on his work? Those who keep his house, those who clean his house, those who take his kids to school, those who are drivers, those who iron his clothes, the dry cleaners, the, 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 the cameras, the, the people of electricity. I mean, he employs people he even doesn't know. That's what God wants to make you. Do. You and the mist went up to heaven. That's where wealth creation begins. Is to know who you are and to give God what He is looking for. God can send rain, it will create floods. But He said, If you, you give me what you have, what I, need, I will see your need. If I provide what God needs, God is looking for a man or for a woman. God is looking for somebody to stand in the gap. God is looking for a voice in the land. If I give God that, then He will give much more than I'm needing. Child of God, yesterday I was teaching you about how to kill your grandmother. But what's amazing about that story is found in 2 Kings chapter 11, the last verse. Verse 21. Joash was seven years old when he began to reign. Seven years old was Joash when he began to reign. Seven years old. The grandmother killed all his siblings. But the sister of the murderous grandmother who had no relationship with her kept this boy one year old and guess where he kept him this is where I'm, I'm talking to every parent I'm talking to every father every mother everybody listen to me very carefully when the world is full of tamar and full of confusion the only safety place you have to keep your little one is in the house of God. Is in the house of God. This woman had taken over the palace. She killed every boy, every girl in that kingdom. Children of her own son. The past, where you've come from, the past of your poverty, where you grew up in object poverty, where you grew up in religion, is trying to kill your future right now. So you have to release something you have never released. You have to be in court, in total contrast against the establishment of tradition, of tribes, of religion, of witchcraft. You need to go and say, come and invent them. You need to come in the house of God. The Bible said he kept the boy for a year, for two years, for three years. 
for six years and he was with her hid in the house of the Lord six years and Avalia did reign over the land child of God there is a revelation on that but the Bible said, but when it was a seventh year, six years, you labor. God said, six days, you will labor. But on the seventh day, you will rest. This woman labored Israel with her demonic powers. Ah. Confuse the world with their witchcraft. They are going to die a terrible death, humiliated and ashamed. And the Bible says, and the seventh year, Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers over, hundred of the captains, and the guards, and brought them to him into the house of the Lord, and made a covenant with them, and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord, and saw them the king's son. Now your time has come. It's in a church to say, you are about to come out. You are about to show up. For seven years, you've been waiting. For six years, you've been in the hiding. God this time is bringing you up. You thought your mama is dead. Your papa is dead. Your brothers are dead. Nobody cares for you. But the time has come. You are about to see those who are on your side and those who are against you. The time of your enemy has come. Your enemy is not man. Your enemy is poverty, ignorance, and disease. The time of it dying has come. Child of God, spend more time in the house of God. You have spare time. Time. The person next to you. Say, after I take eight hours of my job and eight hours of my sleep and two hours of my Wolokoso, I still have enough time to be in the house of God. A day has 24 hours. So if you take off 8 hours of, of, of where you, you do your job. Where they employ you. Or where you work with you have your own business. You add on another 8 hours of sleep. That is 16 hours. And you put in 2 more hours. Of holocaust. Of moving from where you work and where you sleep. That is a total of 18 hours. Out of 24, you still have six more hours. So give God every day three hours of being in the house of God. You will still have three hours to spend. If you start doing that, he will see your need. And the only way you can keep time is to give you a car. You haven't got it. Give God what he needs. You will give you whatever you want. Give him what he wants. You will give you what you need. Ah, 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 ah. Hello, Jory. Hello, Jory. Come back, Queen and you to give God what he needs. You give you whatever you want. Give him what he wants. He will give you what you need. Give him what he loves. He will give you what you need. 
Give him what he loves. God loves a contrite heart. God loves a repentant heart. God loves a forgiving heart. God loves a faithful heart. God loves you to have faith. Don't walk by sight. Walk by faith. He will surprise you. You are waiting for man. God wants the miss. You are crying out. Oh, in their business. business. God said, Give me my tithes. Give me my tithes. Publish my books of the Holy Ghost. You present yourself in my house. You be there. Let me talk to you every day. You let me talk to you every day. All I want is you. When you give me a cow, command on you. You give him your heart. You give him your life. You surrender to him. My God. He will give you more than what you are looking for. He will even give you the wealth of the weekend. <laughs> Do you know where this boy became king? Not at the palace. In the house of God. Because it was the Sabbath day. I really feel in my heart that your Sabbath has arrived. Being in the presence of God, resting from your tears, resting from your suffering, resting from your love. The hour has come. Hey, somebody praise the Lord in this house. And the prophet Jehoiada sent and fixed the rulers over the hundreds. They are people who have billions in hundreds. You don't even know what's going on. What kind of seven? Is there a boy here, a kid who is seven years old? Come here, you. You look like a king. Listen to this. The people who are going to die for this boy. Because the generation in this boy of the king of Israel, right down to Saul, to David, right down to Solomon, this boy is a hundred percent royal. Doesn't matter about his size. Doesn't matter about his age. He is the king. Every imitator. Every fake person. Who is trying to take your position. The time has come. They are going out. They are going out. Again, I fire them from government. I fire them from everywhere. Get out! Whoa. Hey. These people in the house of God there is a conference going on in the presence of God these people are talking and they are not simple people these are people over a hundred these are people over ten thousand they are very rich they are very powerful they are very formidable they have all resources they sat in the temple and they say you are third of you take over this side on the Sabbath shall be the keeper of the watch of the king's house. He said, even the king's house, we are going to take it over. We are throwing this witch out. Every witch in the government of Uganda, I fire you in the name of Jesus. Every confusing agent in the nation of Uganda, I fire you. Let me tell you something.
something. Maybe you don't understand. Uganda, Uganda is on the rise. Outside nations, local nations, Africa, they all know it. The report has come out report that by 2020, 2025, the fastest growing economy in the world will be Uganda. That's number one. God has already told us in seven years, the whole world will be coming to Uganda for spiritual enrichment. Revival is already here. You think that I'm asking you. You think the devil is happening? I'm asking you. We never you people. You remind me of religion. Where you came there? You think the devil is happening? So what he does, he allows and brings in wrong people. You are not hearing what I'm saying. Who makes stupid decisions? I call them stupid decisions. To destabilize the nation. And make Uganda as though we are at war. Oh, Uganda is on fire. Because that's why the enemy of the land wants to know. Uganda is stable. Uganda, Uganda is peaceful. Uganda no war is going to be here. No stupidity is going to be here. But there are some stupid people who are demonically influenced. If someone is going for medical check, why do you stop him? I fire. Demonic people out. So that you may create a, a situation. So that the world may think Uganda is on fire. No, Uganda has democracy. Uganda has peace. Uganda is going to continue. We refuse the demon of death. Get out of Uganda. I fire every wrong advisor. Who is with the president? I fire you. I fire you. Your time is up. It's in a time you call me. I fire you. Get out. Move back with me. This woman killed the children of her own son. Don't joke with witches. They sacrifice their own children for position and money. I fire you in the name of Jesus. that the priest stood up and organized people that's why I'm organizing you people who love God people who love this nation to come tomorrow and pray we are fasting, we are praying a voice in a million no devil will destabilize this land Listen to this child of God. The boy was seven years. They didn't put him there because of anything. You could see they wanted to maintain the real deal. 
the gene ratio. You are a child of God. It doesn't matter whether you are young or old. You are going to be the head of your family. You are born again. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are children of God. In the name of Jesus. They keep on spreading lies. Lies upon lies. I fire you. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go down in shame. Listen to this. They brought the king. He was seven years old. And they said the third part shall be at the gate of Sewer. And the third part of the gate behind the guard. So shall he keep the watch over the house. That is not be broken down. Because when the devil, listen, when the devil wants, to, when he knows he's losing power, he wants to break down the house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The witches are losing power. Nakaima God said, All their centers are on fire. Now they know they are losing. They want to destabilize the nation and break the peace. Not at all. The angels of the Lord are guarding the believers. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Then he would have said, and two parts of all of you that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch over the house of the Lord about the king. Also keep the house of the Lord. That's a child of God. It's not only to keep Uganda safe. It's not only to keep your house safe. It is also to keep the house of the Lord safe. To keep revival. We are at a point of no return. The whole country is getting safe. People are yielding to God. But the wicked and the witches will not survive. The liars will not survive. The liars will not survive. The liars will not survive. And he shall encompass the king around about. Every man with his weapons in his hand. And he shall come within the range. Whoever comes within the ranges, let him be slain. And be ye with the king as he goeth out and as he cometh. So finally, for seven years, this young king was able to come in the presence of God. But he was already in the house of God. That's why they were keeping him. But now he was coming because it is in the house of God. Where he's supposed to be enthroned as king. But now you can't have him. You can't see me. Walking or cutting a movie video. By the time you get into your possession, you won't be in the village. So that time when you're in the or when you're in the meeting, or when you're in the meeting, or when you're in the meeting, or when you're in the house of the Lord. This is where the Lord is going to crown you. This is where the Lord is going to grant you your business. When you're in prayer, when you're in fasting, this is where God is going to give you. That will bring you a lot of money. Hallelujah. Because you've sat in meetings. For a lot of Yes. Listen to these people of God. And he shall encompass the king around about. Go ahead, go to verse 9. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all things. You have to take your position captain. of your captain. You are the captain of your family. Nobody will approach you. Don't wait for the clan meeting. Take the responsibility. Say, oh, Mbogo clan members. I am your clan here. 
Why did the priest pull up this? The spear and the sword of David. Because the real king of Israel was David. When Saul messed up. The, the genealogy, the gene ratio was from David. And David is a man who has a God's heart. After God's own heart. People of God, we have to go back to the original Bible. The original worship. The original praise. The original salvation. The original faith. The original word of God. We can't go on this temporary whatsoever it is. Two hours in church. We have the demon to fight. But locally we have to go back from religion back to real faith. When we were still in Papa nobody was honoring us. back unto the living God. This new organization is here. They cannot help us in any way. We need the real weapons of David. Those that destroy the Philistines. Those weapons that destroy the Philistines. Who are mighty. I chest you from here. Make way. Go back. The real prophetic swords. The real prophetic swords. Of fasting and praying. This joking around. We don't need two hours in church. This demons are not enough to chase them out of the country. These demons that confuse the nation. Let people in the government. And they confuse the nation. You cannot send them out on two hours on the ground. Every day, three hours. They will pack their bags and go. You can't just chase those demons just like that. Those demons are intimidating people, intimidating people. Every demons bring another demon along. The Bible teaches us that if one demon comes, it will bring. If you beat it, it brings seven more demons. So we are at the spiritual warfare level. Upon you, church, to raise the temperature, to send more mists through fasting and praying. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
These things are praying on Sunday. You call it praying. Go in nursery school. Go in nursery school. <laughs> We are going to attend the nursery school. You go in the nursery school for class. We are about to get to We are about to get to what God promised us. When there's a lot of terminal everywhere. When hospitals are all over. That business here everywhere. When your business has branches. The enemy wants to stand in your way. Fire. Destroy him. Fire. Listen, what did he say? And he brought forth the king's son and put the crown upon him and gave him the testimony. <laughs> he gave him the testimony. Generation in This generation of your children, next Saturday, before they go back to school, parents, parents, at 2 p.m., they have to be here. We'll get them Let them be here. Next Saturday, not tomorrow. The other last Saturday, before they go to school, we are taking the back to the Your child has to be the best in Uganda. Eight people. One of them have to be We are going to anoint them. We are going to prophesy over them. We are going to tell them prophetic words. We are going to go back to school. Where they have sparks of the Holy Ghost. He brought out the king and gave him the testimony. Why? Because there was a testimony. That you young boy, you are seven years old. But you are the royal descendant of King David. And these are the weapons he used. And you will do great and man. He said, I'll go up again. He won't leave me out. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the generation? The young people. Where is that generation? People are tired. Are serious. They are serious. Where are you? Where are you? to spend the whole of Saturday when you're you at? Where you at? Young men like Solomon. Young men like David. They are ready to smite God. Where you at, young men? Oh, you're busy betting. You're busy drug abusing. Where you are, the Daniels? Where you at? Where are they? Badiwa. The world cannot see a difference. Daniel refused to eat the cake. For after the cake, it was realized there's a difference. They have to be young men. Among believers now. They are tired of being called When they are talking about the young, they don't say that yet the believers, they have their own business. Just like non-believers. Non-believers are crying, you also cry. Even are trembling, you're also shaking. Where is your God? As the heathens are getting pregnant, you're also getting pregnant. 
Katonda waliruda. Where is your God? Seven year old young man. The king, the prophet, the prophet brought him out and sat him on the throne. <laughs> hey. And the people shouted, verse twelve. Brother the king and, 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 and clapped their hands okay. and anointed him and they clapped their hands and said God save the king and, and, and that woman she was a woman she was a, she, she was a queen so she cannot be king so they said God save the king and when Asaria the witch had the noise of the God and of the people because even in the house where she was staying yeah. Yeah. They had already come in the house. When they had, God save the king. Never bought the God of the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When she had it, when they were clapping, that is where the devil is. when you shout. That's when you If you want you to be in a humble church, slap church. Verse 13. And all the people she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. She came to the temple. People were praying, she wasn't praying. She was busy watching the when she had the noise. She came for prayer. The one who's been bewitched is about to come and attend 77 dogs. The one who's been hindering you. The one who's been accusing you. You're about to turn your eyes. You will be seated down in 77 dogs. You will be seated down in 77 dogs. Verse 14. And when she looked, behold the king stood by a pillar as the manner was. When the king was crowned, he could move out and stood by the pillar. Okay, my dear. Okay, now. <laughs> now I wait at them. He stood by the pillar. Look like the king. But, yeah. He stood by the pillar. In other words, I am standing next to something that I know to be real. There's a pillar of fire. Pastor the pillar of fire. is with you. You're going to lean on it. Whoever can let you get out. Don't talk, talk. Those who want to fight, fight. Those who want to be with me, which with a crown on his head, as the man was, and the princess, and the trumpeters, and the trumpeters. They were all standing by the king. And all the people of the land. Imagine what was in the temple. The entire nation rejoiced. The entire nation rejoiced. Witches and night dancers. You have been chased out tonight. Let you gather rejoice again. Those who have been confusing the country. The government organizations. Today you have been fired. Let the nation rejoice again. And blew with, with trumpets. And Azaria rent her clothes. And cried. Treason! Treason! 
She, she speak like a, let me tell you the age of Athaliah. 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 Right. Athaliah. They call it Athaliah. I mean Athaliah. Athaliah. Oh no. This what she means. Tell him to to mama and Athaliah. Nobody can name their children Athaliah. Omanya ka Bible imani njio ne. Tell him to mama and we. You the Scariot. Athaliah. Athaliah. Over Hitler. Oh Hitler. Gonna. Your enemies will never be remembered on this earth. Those standing in your way. In the whole of Uganda. Uganda. They will never be remembered in this world. No matter if they work in the president's office. They will live and they will never be remembered. Even if they work in high organizations. You who knows them it will not be okay. And the next generation will never remember them. Because they are about to run mad. They are about to rent their clothes. They are about to be embarrassed. They are about to walk naked. I fire you in the name of Jesus. Yes. And Atalia rent her clothes. But Jehoiada the priest commanded the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the horse, and said unto them, Have her forth without the rangers. And, and him that follows her kill them with a sword. The word I told you is a sword. When your enemy is walking out, when he's moving out, there are some demons that follow him so that they may return and attack. But all of them are going to die. Nothing from the past, from your blood, from Misawa, with a blood that is going to follow Uganda. Nothing. For the priest had said, Let her not be slain in the house of the Lord. So they carried her. Imagine she was naked. She was not a young lady. She was 18 years. At least you can buy my body. She has a booty. She was an elderly woman. She was the mother of the king who gave birth to the children. She was a grandma. She was about 70 years. She ran the clothes. The breast of an old woman of 70 years. It's like this worn out stock. It's a worn out stock. She has stretch marks all over. Bath marks on her legs. Bath marks all over the legs. The entire nation looks. They were coming her out. The back was just like a bull. Your enemy is going to have a bad fall. Your enemy is going to be humiliated as they fall. Other people cover their eyes because they were ashamed to see an old woman naked. Others will say, Oh my God. They took her out. The, 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 the way that the horses use when they come back. You know horses. You don't need to use their way. You rather walk through the way of the horse of the ship or of a cow. Because you can jump the dung. But the dung of the horse. <laughs> The urine of a horse. That entire road was full of filth. That is where she was. That's where she passed. They were dragging her. She was falling in the field. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are going to cry as they run. Live your life. Yeah. 
And they laid hands on her. And she went by the way by the which the horses came into the king's house. And there she was slain. In that place, in the dung of the horses. Those who came to clean up the dung of the horses, they also dragged her in the dung. The Bible doesn't say she was buried in the cesspool of uh, dung, sewage. Ah. That's where they put her. But he became king at the age of seven. Child of God. You don't have to have experience to run the next business. You just have to have the patience to be in the house of the Lord. We are not just here because we want to have services. No, we are here. It's costing us a lot of money to run service every day. We are here because our position is here. The enemy has taken it. He has killed everything. That's why we are here. Until the time comes that we may retain and take our kingdom. Lift up your hand. So I'm here to be anointed to take over my position in this world. Lift up your hand, everyone. Lift up your hand, everyone. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand, lift your hand. And say, My Father, my God, I'm here today because I want to be anointed. Today I release my miss so that you may make me what you want me to be. Oh God of glory. I am alive because you are alive. Because your promises are sure. And they are yes and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. The son of the living God. I release my praise. I release my joy. I release my anointing. I release my miracles. I release my finances. I release my mind. To you O God. For your glory, for your power, for your praise, in the mighty name of Jesus, my body belongs to you, my life belongs to you, here I am Lord, in Jesus name, amen and amen. Amen, amen. Lift your hand. And I will serve. No foreign God, no any other treasure. Lift your hands, saints, lift your hands. For you are my heart's desire. For you are my heart's desire.
The earth released something. Then God moved in. These people were released. They are people I feel in my spirit. I hear the Lord say to me. They are talking about your name. In far distant lands. In near organization. You are that discussion. Not for bad. Not for evil. But they are going to support you. Because at this level. You are an infant. You don't have what it takes. You can't even speak on your behalf. God has ordained people. People. They are going to talk on your behalf. They are going to call you the king. When your own are calling you evil. Mind the Ash the get the book in a cartoon. Never in the sun was shouting glory. Shout glory. Walk at the chitiwa. And to your name. I will be my sacrifice. Lift up your hand and tell the Lord. Come on. Come on. And to And I will serve no foreign gods, no bell, no whatever, no any other treasure. For you are Lift your hands, saints. Listen, when that woman was slain, next to the house of the Lord, she had built a temple of Baal. People run and tear it apart. Verse 18. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal and break it down. His altars and his images break they in pieces. Sarare and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars and the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord. People of God, the devil is not happy about what's happening in Uganda. And he thinks Arosa. you've loosened your guards. You've become passive. You are religious. You are tired. You are throwing in the towel. You are not concerned anymore. He thinks he can just walk in and do whatever he wants to do. But he will not. The peace of everyone will be available. The rights of everyone will be preserved. What God gave us cannot be taken away. You are next in line. You're going to sit on your throne in your own business. The church will grow strong. You are the church of Jesus. The Holy Ghost will cover the land and the world. Right down from the land of the Nile. I prophesy. It's time to tear down the house of Baal. 
Lift up your hand. Every family has their hand. Start breaking down. I say start breaking. Why are you waiting for heaven to help? Start heaven will come. Start, start now. Break down the demons in your family. Break the immorality. Poverty. Break down. Break the demons of hell. Break the demons. Of hell. Talk with a loud voice. These people shouted as they broke. Witchcraft and sorcery. Hatred. Break the demons of tribalism. Break them. Destroy them. Break. Destroy. Break down. Destroy. Spirit of religion. Raising his ugly head again. In the mighty name of we cut you off you snake we cut you off you snake in the mighty name of Jesus the son of the living God by the power of the Holy Ghost demons of poverty demons of no good demons of backwardness demons of confusion spirit of early death shedding innocent blood we destroy you get out of here Spirit of rebellion, we destroy you in the name of Jesus. Spirit of arrogance, spirit of pride, we destroy you. Break them down. Where is a fire? Send fire. Your child. Fire. Destroy. Demons of perversity. Prostitution. Break them down. Destroy. Demons of laziness. Fire. Demons are denying you miracles. Fire. Demons of your dead ancestors. That attack you in the night. Demons are rape you. Demons that abuse you. Demons that abuse you. I don't care. Your child, your child, your fire, 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 fire them. Reba, ba, 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 sete. Reba, ba, your child, your child, your child. Fire them. Zikiriza, zikiriza. Destroy, destroy them. Zikiriza, zikiriza, zikiriza. Destroy, destroy them. Zikiriza, zikiriza, zikiriza. Destroy, destroy them. Sikiriza destroy them Yongera muamany increase the strength yongera muamany increase the chikuba chiwanole mo banga pull them down you are not a beggar Tony Masiki this is your time you are a command of 100 you are a command of 100 you are a command of 100 destroy Demons of cancer. Demons of diseases and fever. Demons of tuberculosis. Break and destroy. Destroy them. Destroy, destroy them. Destroy, destroy them.
<laughs> Victory belongs to Jesus. Break down, destroy. Victory belongs to Jesus.
Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Jump seven times and shout victory. Belongs belongs to Jesus. To Jesus. If you're here, you've never given your life to Jesus. You want to give your life to Jesus. That's the biggest offering you can give to God. Each one of you I want you to go down. Get an envelope. Get a seed. Which is your mist. God is looking for people all over this country. We cannot give this opportunity to other people. If they help us, thank God. But God has given us an obligation, a work to do to publish the books of the Holy Spirit. There are many of them, seven of them available on our website. You can download them. Those of you overseas, whether you're in America, Europe or everywhere, go on PayPal. Get on your seed. Get on our line. www.robakayanjaministries. That ORG, and you find where you can plant your seed on PayPal. And send your seeds at the channel 44. www.channel44store.com. You'll plant your seed there in the name of Jesus. But those of you on mobile money, do the same at your home. God is doing something incredible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your past is dead and we are burying it today. You know when he saved us, he washed our sins away. Our past is totally gone. Rebobobo. I want you to get a seed. What do you want God to create for you? The earth needed a man. But it also needed a woman. But it came to its phases. God can do a miracle to you today. Give you a land, give you a house, give you a car in one day. I have seen it many times. One too many. God will do it. I encourage you. Give a seed you've never given before. Why you it's not about money. It's, it's about you. What do you want in your life? What are the things that have you prayed for and they're not happening? You need, don't wait to heaven to move. God is ready. He has given you access to heaven and earth. But he wants you to do something incredible. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to get you out of debt and So today, I want you to plant a seed you've never planted before. I want you to arise and say, God, I'm, I'm ready. In the name of Jesus, use my million shillings. Use my $10,000. Use my $1,000. Use my $100. I'm sending a mist right now to my God because I'm expecting a miracle. I want to see something wonderful happen. If I give God what he wants, what he loves, he'll give me what I need. He knows I need houses. He knows I need, I have children. I need school fees. God knows I have all these needs. He knows I have to pay bills. He knows. And the Bible says, he supplies my needs. But I must give him the miss. Give him a 10% of your savings today. Do something you have never done before.